Ochoa um, continuing his love affair with the FIFA World Cup. A penalty save against Poland, against Robert Lewandowski. Evans, let me come to you. Um, your general impressions on the game. It wasn't, yes, it was a goalless draw. I found it quite interesting, especially that second half. What are your thoughts? Well, I think, as you said, the second half was great. Uh, the first half was one to forget. Mm. Uh, not many chances yeah. from both teams. Uh, it was a very dragging encounter in the first 45 minutes. But it came alive in the second half. You could see... Uh, the two teams going for the win, and I think that the Poles will feel hard done not to win all three points. That mm. penalty awarded to them. Lewandowski, I think that he showed too much to Guillermo Uchua. He's a very experienced goalkeeper, a veteran in the World Cup. He knows his penalty very well, and I'm, I'm quite surprised why Lewandowski decided to go for that weak penalty. And I think for the Mexicans also, they had some, a couple of chances that uh, they could have also won the game as well. Mm. It was that game where either side could have won. The Poles felt at a point in time they would have taken the lead. Mexico also had a chance to come into the encounter as well. But it was Lewandowski, Ochoa, and 1-1 being the ultimate scoreline is a fair result of what happened on the pitch. I feel that with the Mexicans, they have shown that they are a team that are not easy to beat. We've seen the Mexicans at the last World Cup in 2018. They went all the way to the quarterfinal. They are back again. And that decision to have Guillermo Ochoa in post for them is paying off. And I know before his call-up, many had their concerns. Why the veteran goalkeeper? And this is what he brings on board for yeah. the Mexican team. The one person, when you need him to make a save, he does that. And it's not a fluke. He did this in 2014 against Brazil. He did mm. this in 2018. And he's doing this again in 2022. Shows mm. you how top of a goalkeeper he is. Mm. And I think that for the post, they'll look back at this game and be like, we should have at least scored and try to see if the Mexicans can come back in this encounter. Yes, Chesney was forced into a couple of saves as well. Ivan Lozano um, had um, him make a save also. And then Jorge, I think Raul Jimenez all tried to get a goal for the Mexicans. But I feel that for, for, for such a game where either side could have won, I would expect at least a goal to be scored in this encounter. But the two goalkeepers gave their all. And for Lewandowski... He has cost his country. He's mm. yet to score in the World Cup. And this was a good chance for him to open his account for a player who is yearning to be on the score sheet and into the record books of the World Cup. This mm. would have been the perfect chance for him. I know many polls out there will feel it's Lewandowski, so let's pardon him. But the penalty, uh, it's not the best. And it's not the best. Exactly. I, I believe mm. that as, as experienced as he is, he needs to uh, build up on this. Yes, mm. they have more games to play in the upcoming encounter, but... Mm -hmm. He has let his team down. It's a tricky group. Look at what happened between Argentina and Saudi Arabia. So either side wanted would to win this one. Yeah, and and if, this if the Poles had won, I'm, I'm sure against Saudi Arabia, they would have felt a little under, a lo, or below pressure. But now they have to go into the game against Argentina and try to beat the Argentines. Against Saudi Arabia, it's also a tricky game for them. Have to win. This 1-1 one, one result ultimately makes the group quite dicey. Now anyone in that group can qualify. And I feel that both teams will re recap the Mm. match and then feel that yes we should have won this game because mm. it was anyone's game to win so, so let me come to you um Ivan spoke about uh, robert Lewandowski, his inability to score that penalty kick and also spoke about how good the, the goalkeepers yeah. were from a numbers perspective was it that the goalkeepers had a very good game or the, the, the forwards <coughs> and the, the short well, quality was just poor? The, the short quality was not really there outside Lewandowski's chance because if you look at the xg poland had an xg of one in the game mm. and that was their only real chance and a penalty is 0 0.7. So if you have an XG of 1 and you have a penalty in there, it shows that you really struggled to, mm. to create chance. And look at Lewandowski receiving his passes. He received one pass in the box. And about of the 32 passes he received, as you can see on screen, look at how many came from his own box. Look, look at that. About 14 of the passes he literally just long balls came, being came from Chesney. So he, wa he wasn't really provided with the service. And that's the difference because when we see Lewandowski at Barca or Bayern Munich in the past, he's getting a lot of touches in the box. He's getting chances put on a plate for him, but as you can see from here, he barely got those chances. And that's the problem with Poland. And I said it before the game, I expected Poland to sit back, try and play on the counter. And this is indicative of that, that Chesney was really the, the person connected with Lewandowski the most. And that's not what you want. You don't want your keeper and your striker being there in tandem like yeah. that. So it was very difficult for him. He got the penalty. And like uh, Evan said, his the way he take, took the penalty was poor because if you look at the statistics for penalty saves, it's almost like there's this zone where exactly where you put the penalty. That is easier to save for right footers and yeah. it's reversed for left footers. So once you put it in that zone, the keeper has about a 30-35% chance of saving when you put it there. You put it in the top corner, 0% chance. Mm -hmm. So maybe the nerves got to him so he wasn't as and he confident. Didn't, he, didn't, he didn't use his usual penalty 
um, strategy. He usually starts just before he. Yeah, yeah. He hits I think, I think the is nerves he, of being at a World Cup. No I think he missed his last penalty for Barca, didn't he? Yeah. Yes, he missed his last Maybe the nerves of being at the World Cup, not having a World Cup goal. Mm. His cumulative XGI World Cups is two, so it's not even that high. And considering that mm. a striker of yeah. his caliber, only a two XG over his four World Cup games, it shows mm. that the service just isn't there. So. I don't expect. It. I think it's very difficult for him to get a goal at this World Cup because if this is the approach Poland are going to take, all these long balls, one pass received in the box. But they're going to face Saudi Arabia. Well, we saw what Saudi Arabia did to Argentina, who we would consider a better yeah. team. They made it difficult for mm. for Argentina too. So it's not. There, it looks like there's no easy games in this group. Yeah. And this was a good chance for them because I thought the Mexicans were a bit more open. They could have taken their chances, but they were a bit more conservative and you can see from the position about 40 percent position they entered the final third as many times as the mexicans but yeah. you can see that the long passes they were a lot more so it was just a difficult game for them and they, they, they didn't really do much with it um if i just talk about the mexicans um we know that in past world cups yeah. they've given some teams some problems we saw in uh, 2014 against brazil where brazil struggled in that game we saw them in 2018 where they beat the defending champions germany they had a very good um, run in that group stage, it's ended up qualifying and going all the way to the quarterfinals. But in this game, um, they just, it looked like they lacked that cutting edge. Because if you look at the possession stats, 60% possession as against your opposition's um, 40, you enter the final third 59 times. But yet still, we couldn't find that one telling chance that we could have said that this was an opportunity for them to, to, to score a goal. Well, uh, it, was, it was a very difficult game for the Mexicans. I think the way the polls set up, it was more yeah. of um, a team that wanted to play more in the middle. Mm -hmm. The likes of Krichowiak gave the Mexican midfield a very strong um, midfield battle. And so you could sense that the Mexicans weren't playing the game that they wanted to play. Most of the attack came from the wings where Ivan Lozano was trying to create some magic for them, but they couldn't do that. It, it, was, it was that opponent where uh, they didn't really expect what they saw from the, the, the pole team. I think that yeah. for, 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 for Mexico... They rather do well against teams that are flamboyant, teams that like to play on the flair football, because they like they're very open. So when they face a team that's very open as well, then you can see the best from the Mexican team. But they face they face a very tactical Polish team. Yes, attacking wise, the Poles weren't that great, but in terms of their midfield and their back three, they were very compact. They mm. they left little spaces for the Mexicans to exploit, and you could sense that throughout the whole game, it was more of a midfield battle than one or two chances for the Mexicans. So I'm I'm sure. Going forward, they will have seen what to expect in other matches. But this encounter against the Poles, it's not what they expect. They were expecting a more open team from the Polish uh, outfit because of the Lewandowski's and all that. But they rather met a very strong midfield battle and what the Polish brought on board. That's five midfielders that the Poles filled it, mm -hmm. made sure that the midfield area was choked. And you could sense that the Mexicans were not having a, a good day at all. Suzu, take us through the numbers here. Um, one... one um what, is, what strikes me in this is um, Mexico's inability to get enough shots on goal. Um, shots on target, just uh, four as against um, Poland's two. When you have that much of the ball and you look at the crosses that were attempted in, uh, what, uh, 33 crosses in the... When I look at the, the profile of the Polish defenders and I look at what Mexico has, um, before Raul Jimenez came on, I personally was wondering why they were swinging in bo uh, balls into the box that, that frequently. Well, it, it usually tends to happen, you know, when a team defends deep. The only space you'll find is on their flanks. Mm. So it's almost like you are forced to move to their flanks and cross the ball. And it played right into Poland's hands, like you said, because if you know Kamal Gilk and what's his name, Gregor Krigoshak. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry to our Polish viewers if I mispronounce that, but... You know, your names are a bit difficult for us. But, you know, these are very big guys. You know that they are aerially dominant. They are very strong players. So if you are going to cross so much, you are not going to get a lot of joy. But that was the Polish plan, to yeah. force them wide and try and soak up the crosses and hit them on the counter. Yeah. Get those long balls to Lewandowski. But like we said, they weren't providing Lewandowski with that service. And that's his misfortune that when he plays at club level, he's getting so many easy chances, so many good chances. But he comes to Poland and there's almost no chances. And... Because of the way he plays, he's more of a penalty box striker. He can link up playing that, but he's not a kind of pick up the ball, dribble, create my own chances yeah. type of striker. So it makes it very difficult for him at, Pol at international level. And it's one of the sticks that's used to beating that he doesn't do anything for Poland. But what more can you do when, like we saw, yeah. you get one chance, you get one pass received in the box? Maybe he could have. Maybe he could have. Maybe he could have to force his way. Maybe he could have scored the penalty. Fair enough. Yeah. But the point is, 
your striker shouldn't be receiving just one ball in the box for the whole 90 minutes. That's, that's not good enough if you want to really maximize someone like Lewandowski's finishing. So it's very difficult mm. for him. And it will, get, it will be more difficult because if I remember correctly, Argentina also in this group. Yeah. That won't be an easy one. And from what we've seen from Saudi Arabia too, there are no pushovers as well. So this could have been one of their easier matches, one of their better chances to get a result. And they've not been able to take it. So it's going to be very difficult for Poland going forward. And like Pichi said, we know Mexico. Every round of 16, they are there. So this, is, this was a missed opportunity. Yeah. yeah. Um, so Poland and Mexico uh, settling or sharing the spoils in that goal. Let's draw there in Group C action.